Morning guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So I'm starting another vlog of today and I've just done an Instagram makeup look. Um, so I'm actually wearing makeup today. <laughs> so I'll just share what I'm going to get up to for the next few days. I've got a few sewing projects happening and I'm also going to go to some of my favourite charity shops today. So I thought I would try and take you along. Um, I'll probably film on my phone when I'm there because that'll be easier. A few weeks ago I started a quilt and part of it went wrong and I just sort of couldn't deal with it anymore so I had to leave it and I've come back to it and thankfully I've managed to save it. Um, quilting is an interesting one. It takes a lot of patience which I don't always have. I feel like I'm okay with quilting like small things like cushion covers and things like that but when it gets to like a much bigger scale then I get a bit overwhelmed. So I've decided I'm hand stitching this one together, hand quilting it and um, I've got this gorgeous really really soft brushed cotton sheet that I found on eBay I think. It came as like a set and I think I could actually get two quilts out of it because I've managed to got almost exactly the same amount of fabric left which is amazing and Flory absolutely loves it it's so cozy and when I was working on it she just came and curled up on it which wasn't very helpful but <laughs> shows how cozy it is so yeah I wanted a quilt that wasn't huge that I could put over my lap or like just snuggle in in the winter when it gets super chilly so I went for a real mixture of neutral shades with some pinks and some browns in there and I've done a little black border all the way around and then I and then once I've finished hand quilting I will chop all of the extra bits off. Yeah I'm very excited to see how this turns out. I'll show you a little bit of the hand stitching I've done. So probably can't see it very clearly but this time I'm also using a polyester wadding, the same one I used for my bags because I really liked how sort of puffy it looks and so once I've done all the hand quilting I can put it in the washing machine and it should really fluff it up nicely. So yeah, very happy with how that's going so far and I'm going to sit here and do a little bit of more hand stitching. Also these trousers are new, they're my investment for autumn winter. They are roller cord, flared cords and I am obsessed. Excuse the mess of this room but these are the cord high waisted flares. They are so comfortable, they're the perfect fit on me, I went for a 27 inch and they're really really comfy and then just flare out nicely at the bottom I also have these in a lilac pair I've had those for a few years and they're always so cosy in the winter so I'm very happy with those so the trousers are my new big purchase and I just love making investment pieces like this like they are so so perfect like they could not be more me um, and I thought I'd show you a few other things I've picked up recently um, before I get on with my hand quilting. First one I could not resist in H&M and it is one of their fluffy jackets. I went for a size small in this. I tried the medium on and it just looked a bit too oversized and I had one of these style jackets a few years ago when they first sort of came out from H&M and I loved it but I only was ever able to get it in an extra small um, so it's always been a bit of an annoying size and this one is so cosy, it's got um, polyester lining which put me off to start with but it's actually really cosy because it's so synthetic that it just sort of warms you up but I love these styles of jacket, they're just so good for real casual days and I loved the little tassel details just thought it was really sweet and I know I'm going to get lots of wear out of this because I've already got lots of wear out of my other one. And this one has a hood, um, which I thought I also wouldn't like but I actually quite like it. It's super cosy. I then popped into M&S and found two really nice tops. The first one was in the sale and it looks like this. It's 
so sweet. It's got a really nice floral pattern on it and the sort of shearing detailing at the top and it's also got the same on the cuffs and it's in this really nice soft jersey so I thought it would be quite cosy in the winter so that was in the sale and then I was actually wearing this this morning and I was going to wear it but then it sort of jumped around everywhere on the camera so I took it off because I can't stand it when someone's got a really stripy jumper that's doing all sorts of weird things on the camera um, hoping this one's okay <laughs> but this is what it looks like this was not in the sale this was in their current collection and it's so cosy me and my mum both bought one of the same <laughs> I just went for my normal size 8 and it's got little poppers down the front which is really sweet. I think that's everything clothing wise I've picked up recently. I've been really trying not to buy too much. Um, I did pick up this print over here in a charity shop the other day. I'll show you it. Couldn't resist it. I know it looks a bit sort of dirty and battered but I actually quite like that look and I could just clean the frame a bit but I just thought the print was so sweet and the more I look at the print the more I see I think it's an etching actually I want to live on a farm like this with a cute little barn and hills and apart from working on my quilt I've been sewing like crazy making more toiletry bags and my zips should be arriving tomorrow which is great because then I can make more of the different sizes. So yeah, not much else to update you on. So I'm gonna go and do some hand sewing and then I will bring you guys along and we're gonna to go to Bista, to the charity shops there because they are just next level. And also to Bista Village because they have a seven day pop-up for Reformation. And I'm really hoping it's still there. It should still be there by the time I get there. Um because I love that brand so much and if they have a nice dress or something that is a good price then I may have to just pick something up. But we'll see. I feel like I just need a trip out. <laughs> need to get out of this house. So yeah, let's get on with some hand sewing. now the next day and I'm going to show you the bits I picked up in the charity shops yesterday. I actually only picked up two things. Um, there was a very disappointing <laughs> selection of things yesterday. So the first thing I found is a skirt from Laura Ashley. It's not 
hugely vintage Laura Ashley because it's got this sort of label on it, but they're more modern label. Um, but I'd say it's about, I don't know when this was made, but it's quite a 90s style, style skirt. Full length and a bias cut at the bottom. So I'm going to pop this on. The sun is really not helping me this morning. <laughs> But I thought this would look really flattering and it was in my exact size, which doesn't happen very often. And look, it fits me like a glove. And I thought with maybe like really chunky knee high boots underneath, this would look amazing. I might go and get some and we can see what that would look like. And it's super cozy because it's got polyester lining and this feels like it's got maybe a tiny bit of wool in it. So the outer is 100% wool and the lining is polyester. So this is going to be a very cosy skirt and I shouldn't have to wear any tights underneath it. What do you guys think? I'm so happy with it. I feel like this sort of skirt is very on trend at the moment with the bias cut. And so it should be because it's a very flattering style. And I've just paired it with this little knitted jumper. And then I also picked up this very cute little jug which was in the sale for £1.50. Very sweet. I don't have any little jugs like this and they're always very helpful if you have friends over and you want to put some milk in it for tea or even like some cream for the dessert um, and yeah I just thought it was really pretty and it's even got a pretty bottom <laughs> which most things don't I just put my hair up because Flory desperately needs a bath she is smelling extra Dorito-esque at the moment um, which I love I love it when she smells all sweaty and cute but just think she needs a bath. <laughs> so hair is up and I'm going to get changed into some more practical clothes because I also have pottery later and um, I'm going to give her a bath then I'm going to do a little bit of sewing, have lunch and then I'm going to go off out to pottery which I'm very excited about. She's looking very peaceful at the moment, doesn't know what's going to hit her. I don't mind baths all that much do Ooh, swimming. yesterday finishing off the hand stitching so it's now all stitched and I'm going to take it home with me this weekend to use my parents tumble dryer to fluff it up a bit and I stitched on my little label this morning I also stitched the binding on yesterday so it's all done and I can finally move on <laughs> so I'm just going to take a few little pictures of it It's the way you call my name. It's the way 
finished taking pictures. Florrie is barking because the postie's just been. And I'm going to go and work on my wash bags now. I have a big pile of wash bags to cut out. These are the boxy style bags and then next week I'll start working on the taller bags again. So I have a template that I used in card and I basically just quilt a big square that's a tiny bit bigger than this template and then I go over and cut around the template. Yeah, I usually do about two at a time, pin them together and sketch out the shape and then cut around the shape. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I still have a few from the last drop, so if you're interested in the boxy ones, then there are still a few left on the website. I particularly love the pretty pink wash bag that is still on the website. Also had a big order of zips arrive, so they're a tiny bit different to my other zips, but almost nicer because I ordered them with cotton tape instead of polyester tape so they've got cotton tape and then the same YKK donut pull zip so yeah they'll make the bags look a little bit more rustic if anything which I think is always quite nice I've got loads and loads of zips now so I am going to be a busy bee 